Have you ever faced a door slammed shut in your face only to find it was the best thing that could have happened to you? Rejection can become your stepping stone to greatness. Sometimes the universe's no is a hidden yes to something greater. Inspired by the Stoic philosophers Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, they all faced setbacks. The secret? Rejection is an opportunity. It's time to flip the script. Imagine every no propelling you forward. We'll unpack Stoic inspired lessons to harness rejection. Hit that like button and ring the notification bell. Ready to turn your rejections into your greatest victories? Imagine this, someone decides you're not worth their time. They brush you off, ignore your message or dismiss your idea. But what if you took a step back and looked at it from a different perspective? What if, instead of seeing it as a reflection of your worth, you saw it as a reflection of their limitations? Their inability to see your value says nothing about you and everything about them. By choosing not to engage, you're making a powerful statement. I am worth more. Don't waste it on those who don't have the capacity to appreciate you. Their rejection is not a dead end. It's a redirection. When someone brushes you off, it's tempting to let frustration or sadness take over. But the Stoics offer a different path. Calmness. Acknowledge the pain, but don't let it dictate your actions. Take a deep breath and choose a measured response. True strength lies in mastering your emotions. Rejection has a way of clinging to us, like a shadow we can't shake off. We replay the interaction in our minds, each time feeling the sting anew. But to truly move forward, we must practice the art of letting go. Start by acknowledging the rejection. Feel its impact, but don't let it anchor your thoughts. Imagine it like a ship passing in the night. You see it, you acknowledge its presence, but you don't allow it to alter your course. Your mind is a fortress and you are its gatekeeper. You decide what thoughts you entertain, what emotions you allow to take root. Don't give rejection the power to define your worth or dictate your future. Remember, every moment is an opportunity for a fresh start. Choose to focus on what you can control. Your thoughts, your actions, your reactions and let go of the rest. It's easy to feel defeated by rejection, to see it as a referendum on our worth. But what if we viewed it as an opportunity? Instead of wilting under rejection's weight, view it as a chance to reveal your grit. The Stoics believed that virtue was its own reward. They understood that true fulfillment came not from external validation, but from living in accordance with our values. Let rejection be the fire that forges your spirit, that tempers your resolve. Channel your energy into honing your craft, into becoming the best version of yourself. Remember, you are defined not by the opinions of others, but by the actions you take. Rise above the need for approval and let your work speak for itself. In the face of rejection, we often feel the need to explain ourselves, to seek validation or understanding. But sometimes the most powerful response is silence. Silence isn't just the absence of sound, 
it's a powerful tool in your emotional toolkit. When you disengage from a situation or relationship that no longer serves you, you reclaim your energy and attention. You create space for healing and growth. Cutting off contact doesn't mean you're harboring anger or resentment. It's about setting healthy boundaries, protecting your peace of mind. Remember, you teach people how to treat you by what you tolerate. By walking away from what diminishes you, you create space for what truly nourishes your soul. Rejection stings. It can make you question your worth, your abilities, even your place in the world. But what if we could harness that sting, transform it from a poison into a fuel? That's what the Stoics urge us to do. See, the world is indifferent to our feelings. It doesn't care if we're hurting or if we feel overlooked. This indifference, however, is not malicious. It's simply the nature of things. And understanding this is the first step to overcoming rejection's power. Don't let their dismissal write your story. Prove them wrong not to spite them, but to prove something to yourself. Show yourself and the world what you're truly capable of. Channel the energy of rejection into relentless forward motion. Remember Marcus Aurelius said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. The rejection is simply an obstacle on your path. And you, my friend, are meant to climb. When we are rejected, it's easy to fall into the trap of self-pity. We isolate ourselves, replaying the rejection in our minds, letting it poison our joy. But this is a self-inflicted wound. The Stoics teach us that true freedom lies in controlling what we can, our thoughts and our actions. We can't control how others treat us, but we can control how we respond. We can choose to dwell in the darkness of rejection, or we can choose to step into the light of joy. Go out and embrace life. Spend time with people who uplift you, who appreciate you for who you are. Engage in activities that bring you joy, that remind you of your passions and purpose. By choosing to have fun, you're not ignoring the rejection. You're transcending it. You're declaring that your happiness is not contingent on the opinions of others. It's a powerful statement, both to yourself and to the world. Rejection can feel like a blow to our social standing. It can make us question our worth. True social status isn't about popularity. It's about character. It's about the values we embody, the actions we take, the impact we have on the world. Living a life of virtue and purpose. This is how we build lasting respect, both from others and ourselves. Imagine a rock in a rushing river. The water crashes against it, trying to move it, but the rock remains unyielding. You are that rock. Rejection is the water flowing past you, unable to change your essence. When someone chooses to ignore you, let them. Their inability to see your worth is not a reflection of your value, but a flaw in their perception. Don't waste precious energy trying to convince them otherwise. Redirect your attention to the people in your life who appreciate you, who see the value you bring. Cultivate those relationships Nurture them with your presence and let their support be your compass. Remember, you are not defined by who ignores you, but by the company you keep and the impact you have on those who matter. In 
the face of rejection, silence can be misconstrued as weakness. But true strength lies in restraint, in choosing not to engage in battles that diminish you. Silence is not submission, it's a strategic retreat. Use this time to delve into introspection. Examine your emotions, understand the root of your pain, and process the experience with clarity. This period of self-reflection is not about dwelling, it's about learning. Just as a warrior sharpens his sword in preparation for battle, use this silence to sharpen your emotional intelligence. Learn to differentiate between constructive criticism and mere negativity. Discern who deserves your energy and who does not. This period of silence is not about them, it's about you. It's about emerging from rejection stronger, wiser, and more resilient. It's about mastering your emotions so they no longer control you. There's a quiet dignity in self-respect, in understanding your inherent worth. Never compromise this dignity by begging for attention, validation or affection. True connection cannot be forced, it's a mutual recognition of value. To plead for someone's attention is to diminish your own, it's to place your self-worth at the mercy of another's whims. Remember, you are not defined by their acceptance or rejection. You are defined by the values you embody and the actions you take. Instead of seeking external validation, cultivate inner strength. Focus on your goals, your passions, your contributions to the world. Let your actions speak louder than any plea for attention. When you are comfortable in your own skin, when you recognize your inherent worth, you radiate a quiet confidence that draws people in. This is the magnetism of self-assurance, far more powerful than any desperate plea for attention. Rejection often stings because we crave connection but true strength lies in remaining open without becoming emotionally vulnerable. This is where the stoic art of measured response comes in. Imagine a fortress, its gates open in welcome, yet its walls remain strong and impenetrable. This is you, projecting warmth and kindness while safeguarding your inner peace. Remember, Marcus Aurelius said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Responding with detached kindness disarms the situation. It demonstrates your resilience and self-mastery, proving that their actions have no power over your demeanor. This isn't about being insincere. It's about recognizing that your well-being is paramount. By choosing kindness without emotional investment, you reclaim your power. You refuse to be drawn into their negativity, choosing instead to operate from a place of inner strength. We've all been there, reeling from rejection, tempted to wear our hearts on our sleeves, Projecting strength even when facing internal turmoil is strategic resilience. As Seneca wrote, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. Use rejection to cultivate inner fortitude. Let your actions speak louder than pain. Rise above, demonstrating your unbroken spirit. We've journeyed through the twists and turns of reverse psychology, uncovering powerful lessons on transforming rejection into success. Each no is a stepping stone to resilience, 
teaching us to channel our inner strength. Each rejection is simply a redirection. Reassess, refine, and re-emerge stronger. Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and drop a comment below. Your interaction fuels this community. Stay stoic.